what we do here is go back, back, back. What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here and today we are doing a crochet summer hairstyle. So what up? We're starting on blow dried hair of course and I'm going to be using a Denman brush, a comb, a moisturizer as well as a scalp oil. This really helps with itchiness and I love it. Also I'm going to be using edge control and a braiding gel as well as some clamp clips just to section my hair off and keep it all away. So if you have a lot of hair like myself, a lot of hair, thick hair, trust me do everything in sections. Don't try to do anything freestyle. You're going to save yourself a lot of stress and headache on the end. The next clip you're going to see is my hair already braided down. So here's my hair all braided down. It's not neat or anything like that, but it will work. Here are my singles. I should have done at least two or three rows, but I forgot and it was too late by the time I remembered. So here's what one strand of the twist look lo looks like. It's like a twist with a little curl on the bottom and a little crimp in between. The package comes with a crochet needle as well. So if you do order from Amazon, it does come with a crochet needle. And I will leave a link down below so you can order this hair if you'd like. Now I'm going to go ahead and crochet the hair onto my braids. If you don't know how to crochet, you can watch, continue watching this. I also have another video on how I crochet hair as well. But most people do know how to crochet onto braids. It's really the singles that I really want you to see in a second. So go ahead and watch this and we'll get to the singles in just a bit. this is your first time here, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do lots more videos on protective styling and natural hair and you'll want to stick around for it. Okay, so now that all of the crochet hair is attached to the braids, I'm going to show you how I attach it to my mini twist in the front. You can see here my twist is a little bit puffy, so what I went ahead and did was spritz it with a little bit of water and added a little bit of gel and just retwisted it just so it can be a little more sleek. You can see that I'm doing that here in this clip. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to let you watch how I integrate my hair with the fake hair and then I'll explain it in the next clip in one second. So I already crocheted the fake twist into the base of my hair and I'll explain exactly how I integrate them after you watch this. So you can see here it doesn't even look like my hair is integrated with that twist at all. It looks like I almost crocheted this hair straight on my scalp or something. So it's integrated quite well. So what I did here in this clip you can see my twist again is quite sleek. That's from the water and the gel and the twist is already crocheted in the base of my twist. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and twist my hair in the same direction that the twist is going. So I'm pretty much twisting my hair in with that twist. Now once I get down about an inch or two. I'm opening up that fake hair to create just a little bit of a hole so that way I can take my twist and fit it in between the hole of that fake hair. So once I put my hair right through that twist, I go ahead and I continue twisting my hair with the same direction that the twist is going. So the reason why I'm doing it in the same direction is that so my hair can fit in those ridges of the twisting hair and I just continue to twist down a little bit. Then once I reach down a bit, I go ahead and do the same thing. I create a little bit of a hole with my fingers in the hair and I put my hair through that twist once again. And then once your hair is coming to an end, you go ahead and make another little hole and put the end of your hair through the loop just to finish it off just like that. So 
here is my hair all finished I definitely should have done at least two or three rows of singles in the front but again I forgot and once I remembered my hair was already all braided down and I couldn't take it all out and do it all over again so if you want more versatility definitely remember to do at least two or three rows of singles in the front so this is my hairstyle and I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like about three weeks later All right, here we are three weeks later with the scrunchy face and with natural light. So here's what the hair looks like. You can see that it's definitely not as neat in the very front, but that's fine. The actual twists themselves still look shiny. They still look intact. They're not frizzing up, which is great. The only downside was that it does tangle. Uh, the very ends of these twists have these little curls. So the hair does tangle on itself a little bit so that's one thing to keep in mind other than that guys this hairstyle has lasted me over a month i've had it in for that long as i'm talking right now you can see these are my singles where my hair is integrated in the twist and the method that i use allows it to not get super frizzy and not pop out so i highly recommend that you try the style guys thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll see you in the next one